50 years ago today, a dramatic car accident on this stretch of road led to the death of three young women. Since then, a number of tales have been told of sightings of ghosts in the Bluebell Hill area. Tonight, a number of spiritual enthusiasts will gather behind me at this pub to see if they can see anything spooky. I met up with Sonia, a paranormal enthusiast who released a film on the tragedy last year and is holding a premiere for the sequel at the Lower Bell pub close to the scene. But her project hasn't gone down too well with the afterlife. I asked her exactly what ghostly activity she had witnessed. Well, I filmed quite a lot around this area when we did the car crash down there. Um, I don't know, the mist came down again, it started to rain. I've nearly been run over three times or so just on that road up there. We caught this strange face on camera. We, we was doing a, a murder scene which is featured in the film and um, one of the actors is looking at his mobile phone and obviously we've got the camera up there and this strange face, this evil nasty face is on the phone and we tried to do the same thing again, it wouldn't come back. It is really, really horrible. Believers from as far as Devon will flock to Bluebell Hill tonight to see if they can spot any spirits. But the wrath of the supernatural world has left Sonia feeling nervous. Well, we're going to go up to the crash site, which is just over the road, um, at that time and see if anyone can pick anything up. I hope it'll be a good turnout. And I hope that everybody is safe, that's the main thing. Because there's a lot of people that are a bit superstitious about us having the screening here on the night, you know. But fingers crossed everything will be okay. Some strange things have happened to me, you know, over time. Yeah, I, I really believe in it and I just wanted to get the story out there. Stay tuned to Kent Online to find out what spooky sights they saw. Mike Tomsett for KMTV in Maidstone.